Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and today I'm going to be looking at a new rule set by a new constructor because we always welcome innovation and new people here at Cracking the Cryptic. Congratulations to uh, Ivine H, and I think that is my best attempt, slightly Ivine H, best attempt, slightly guided by. Um, Ivine himself providing a pronunciation guide uh, at a Norwegian name, I think that is, although Ivine didn't specify that, but I think it is. Anyway, um, this is called Omens of Misfortune, and I think that's because it relates to the number 13. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Fascinatingly empty grid, apart from a few sort of stick lines. Uh, we'll look at that, but coming up in just... Four days time now, Glum Hippo's Brilliant XY Differences Hunt, the Fossil Hunt, and uh, oh, I didn't remember to, oh come on, I'm going to put up the picture of the, of the plushy hippo that, we already had an inquiry from Rachel who wants one, she wants to buy one, so um, I've given her the the name of the, of the supplier that Philip used, which is Yarnworks by Ella, so we'll happy to trail that. Now, somebody else I do want to mention today is um, Frederick and his mother Chloe, and I think Simon may have mentioned this on his video, but I'm happy to dedicate this puzzle to Frederick, who, uh, who has a very tragic story, frankly. And um, anyway, have a look at Simon's video for that. Now, um, also, what have we got going on on apps and merch? You can look at them on the links under the video, along with how to find your way to the Discord server and all of that good stuff. But the first link under this video is to this puzzle, Omens of Misfortune by, um, yeah, as I say, by Ivin H. And uh, the rule set is this, normal Sudoku rules apply. That's the numbers one to nine in every row, column, and every three by three box. Now, orthogonally adjacent digits cannot be consecutive. So these couldn't be one and two or seven and eight in any order because they mustn't be consecutive with each other. Orthogonally means either uh, vertically or horizontally consecutive, uh, adjacent in this case. Now, each omen, and we should consider that I think that every cell that has a red marking in it is an omen, points to at least two of its neighboring cells. And the cells it points to add up to 13. That's the rule set. So I guess these four cells add up to 13. They could include repeats in that case. These two add up to 13 because of this arrow, or, or omen, sorry. Um, so that's how it works. That's a very interesting one. We, I don't think we've seen one quite like this before. Especially not with this non-consecutive rule, which I mustn't forget, and I suspect I won't be able to, because there seems very little markings in this grid to disambiguate the whole grid. So I think the non-consecutive is going to play quite hard into this puzzle. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Do give it a try on the link under the video. You may, as usual, be able to judge from the video length how hard I found it. Now I'm going to trail one more thing. On February the 6th, um, John Halpin, and we've mentioned this before, is doing creating a cryptic crossword with a celebrity. And the celebrity this time is Jane Asher, who I think is a huge celebrity. The only famous person I've ever seen at the Times Crossword Championship. I believe one year she competed there with her mother in a pairs tournament that they held. Um, and yeah, I'm delighted that uh, John has managed to to snaffle her for his, uh, it, what, the way it works, it's a sort of video lecture. Um, not lecture, that's unfair, it's quite interactive. John creates a puzzle live in front of you and takes suggestions from uh, his celebrity and from the audience for words to go into it. And it's a really interesting watch for an hour or two. Um, and the way it works is you have to go to John Halpin's site. We are providing the link under the video and sign up. Just basically subscribe for free to his site and you will get an email inviting you to take part. He does encourage you to, um, 
to contribute to the charity of the celebrity, which in this case uh, is a charity for, um, I think it's for children who who have epilepsy. Um, and I may have got that wrong, but it's all on the links and it's all in the description field. So if you're interested in cryptic crosswords and maybe if you've looked at the either Simon's Cryptic Crossword Solve the other day or mine on Patreon from yesterday, uh, which is a very long video. Um, that might be of interest to you. So we're going to, anyway, we're going to get on with a with uh, Iveen's puzzle here and it's called Omens of Misfortune. Let's get cracking. Now, which, which of these is the place to start? Or is it a combination? Those four digits add up to 13. Okay, this cell is the one with the most Oh, for a moment, I thought all of those cells were in the count of 13, but they're not. It's these. Let's just color those. Right, these add up to 13 now. Let's remember about the non-consecutive rule and see what an effect that has. These add up to 13. Okay, these three, they can't be 1, 2, 3, because 2 would be next to a consecutive digit. They can't be, oh, they could be one, two, four. No, okay, in this case they can't. If they were one, two, four, the four would have to be the chaperone for the one and the two, which aren't allowed to be together. Now, that's not a problem. You could set them up like that, but this cell would be a one or a two. And look at this clue. This clue is only adding two cells, so although that can be a nine, the minimum this cell can be now is a four. And that looks quite interesting. Let's think about that. These two, four, one, three seems to be the minimum. They would add up to eight, and this pair, to make up the 13 total, would add up to five. Now that is doable. I don't think we can go much beyond that. In fact, can this go more than one or two, say. If this was a three, that would make this at least a five. This could be a one then. And these could add up to four. It is just possible, but I, okay. So this could be one, two, three. I don't think this could be four in this cell. And that is because that's going to push this up to at least six then. And you're already on 10 in those. You can't keep these down to three. So we can't go up to four. Actually, I'm thinking about two. Two's very interesting because its neighbors would have to be at least four and five. Two can't be neighbored by one or three. So these would add up to 11 at a minimum if this was two. And then these could only add up to two, and that's not possible to keep them different. So that's not a two, that's weird. It's one or three. Now, I suspect if it's three, this is going to be one. Let me just, yeah, if, if this was three and you didn't have a one here, basically it's the two situation only far worse. So there's no way of that. So one of these two is a one. This one now can't be two because it would be next to one or three. If it was higher than three, four, one, five would be the minimum, and they add up to 10. Then you'd have a one, two here. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That would work in theory for these two to add up to three, but in practice it won't because of this cell. So let me, sorry, let me color this cell's 13 total in those three. Now, if you make those only add up to three, you can't fill this cell. So these have to add up to at least four. And I think that means what I was trying to prove is that this cell, which can't be a two, can't even be as high as four. If this was as high as four, this would be at least four, one, five, ten. Those could only add up to three and that would be broken. So it can't be higher than four. If it was a five, it's exactly the same story. Five, one, four. So this is one or three. This is now a one or three pair. So these other yellow cells add up to nine. 
and we've worked out that these two have to add up to at least four. So the most this can be now is a five. And this cell, to make up this 13 total, is either eight or nine. Now, if it was five, uh, these would add up to four, there'd be a one, three pair, and that would be a nine. And if it was five, that would be eight, so that works. If it was four, these add up to five, and that's eight. Oh, so we've got an eight, nine pair in column three, which I'm sure won't help us, but, but we have it. Now, oh, look at this clue. This is adding the one and the three and something here. Ah, bingo, that's nine. This is eight, that's nine. These two, I'm going to just leave them as blue. Everything else... Ah, oh, these two now add up to five, plus those two is nine, and we get a four there, which we... Sorry, which we also get from this. So I'm going to take out the yellow marking. Let's just leave these two blues, because they add up to five. So that's one, two, or three. It can't be a four. That's two, three, or four to make up the total to five. And we've kind of... If we accept that five total, we've done this clue, we've done this one, we've done this one, we've done this one. That's a bit alarming. That is 45% uh, of the, or 44% of the clues answered in this puzzle. But on the other hand, yeah, on the, uh, do you know what I've basically, since, since looking at these things, I've completely forgotten the non-consecutive rule. Four can't be next to three. So we're away. That's a, not a three. This, sorry, that is a three. This is now not a three. So this can't be two to make up the five total. Right, we're going to really have to work on this non-consecutive rule. So two can't be in those cells and is somewhere up here. Um, oh, okay. Two can't... Look. Two can't be there now by Sudoku. It can't be there by the non-consecutive rule. It would be next to one or three. And it can't be here because of this clue, which needs quite big numbers. In fact, that needs a five, six, or seven here to go with a six, seven, or eight. And that will... This total adds into this 13 total which is definitely going to need a 1. The, the, high, the lowest that can be is a 5. So the highest total for those three cells which see each other is 8. So one of them's a 1, and that's in one of those two cells. Um, so 2, which was what I was actually working on originally, now has to be in one of these two. It can't be there because of the 1, 3 cell and the non-consecutive rule. So then two somewhere over this side, and I don't know what to do with that. Oh, don't be dumb. Six and seven can't be together. So we know what these are. These are an eight and a five. Right, we've got five on this. These others add up to eight, not including a five. They're one, three, four. Excellent. Okay, they're one, three, four. So that means that one of these two is a four. Definitely. It means this is not a two, because it would... Oh, there's... We know where two goes. Sorry, I pencil marked it. Two is there. Can't be next to one or three, so that's a four. Uh, this can't be six because of the non-consecutive rule, or nine because of Sudoku, so it's a seven. This is a six-nine pair that I thought I could disambiguate, and I can't. Now along here, we are select, and we've done this clue and this clue. The only trouble with get making progress is it reduces the number of clues I can actually use in the puzzle. Now these are from one, two, three, and six. Now, this central one cannot be a two because it would have to be next to the remaining digit from one and three, and that would break the rule. Ah, so two is in one of those two cells, and now this can't be one or three for, by the same rule. How, how is that a two-stage process for me to see? That ought to be a one-stage process. But anyway, we've got there. We've got a six in the middle. 
that's six. How can we use that? It can't see five or seven here or here, clearly. I don't know. What can this be? It can't be one, two, four, or six, because it sees all those digits. It can't be five or seven by the rule, so it's three, eight, or nine. Um, can we, is this worth doing? This can't be two, eight, six, five, or seven. One, three, four, or nine. Oh! Yeah, no, I don't know. Eight, though, right, this can't be nine because eight is in one of these three cells. If you put nine there, it must be touching the eight. Um, oh, that's quite interesting. If you put eight there, this becomes a nine. Two, nine, then seven has to go here in the row because it mustn't be next to eight anywhere. Seven one nine four two eight. Six would be here. And this would be a three five pair. In fact, we'd know the order. That would be five, that would be three. Okay, that can just be eight. Can it be three? Is that harder? I don't know. So what was I working out? If it was eight. That puts nine there. Oh, this is interesting. Where does three end up in this row? If this is n if this is three, it's three. If it knowledge bomb. If it's if it's eight, that becomes nine in the row. Seven has to go here. Six has to go here, and three will end up in this group of cells again. Actually, I think it will specifically end up there. But yes, it can't be next to two. So three must be in one of those two cells. And now it can't be in these two, and that's a one-two pair, and that sorts out three there, one there, thanks to the colouring, I remember that needs to be two to make those blues add up to five and make this clue work, and this clue, yeah, they all add up to 13. So, we've got that one-two pair, I don't know how to resolve those. Three and eight are down here, but... If three was there, that would be a one. Yeah, I don't know. Um, can seven be here? It would have to be in one of those and would be next to a three. Looks like it's all right. Oh, hang on. Three is down in one of those. So three is up in one of these, but it mustn't be next to two. They must be chaperoned. So two and three separate up here. Uh, we've got five, six, and seven to place in this box now. Now, these non-consecutive puzzles, I've just thought, they often have roping, meaning the same group of digits across the rows. But here, they're not doing that. Interesting. I mean, there are arrangements of the digits that don't rope, and I think, I think Eileen has found them. Ah, oh, this can't be one or three anymore. This is four or nine. Now, let's have a look at this row. Right, where does five go? Bingo, that's the right question. Five can't go here next to the four. It's in one of these two cells, and that means this can't be four, or it would be next to five. So that's nine. That fixes six and nine there. Two, three, six, one, eight, nine. These that can't be seven because it's next to eight. So that's four or five. That's this can't be four or five, which would be next to four. So that is a seven. We've got a four or five pair in these two cells. <clears throat> these are three, seven, and eight. Well, three has to be the chaperone keeping apart naughty seven and eight who want to consort together. And this is five and six, also a naughty pair. Right, I think that's as much as we can do in those rows. We're going to have to leave them now. Still got three clues left to do. This one is pointing to that cell. Let's just yellow these. They have to add up to 13. This is right. If that was a four, these have to add up to nine. Now, they cannot be two, three, and four for this reason. That... 
that would require 3 to be next to either 2 or 4. So there must be a 1 in that group of cells, because if they don't add up to 9, they add up to 8. Uh, they can't be, I don't know, they could be 1, 2, 5 with the 5 there, or 1, 3, 4 with the 1 here. And if they add up to 9, they're 1, 2, 6 with the 6 here, or 1, 3, 5 in any order. Okay, that is not worth thinking about. There's too many options. What about this cell? Can't be 1, 3, 4, 7, or 9. And I'm starting to think about this clue. So, 2 or 5. It can't be 6 or 8 because of that 7. So it's 2 or 5. And these four cells, let's make them blue this time, have to add up to 13 without achieving a consecutive digit. Uh, they've got to have a 1 in. They're four different digits and they add up to 13. They always have a 1 in. So now we create a sort of X-wing between blue and yellow. The, the two 1s for rows 2 and 3 are used up there. So 1 in this box is going to have to be in one of those two cells. And that gives us a digit, weirdly. Where does 2 go in this box? Not there or there by Sudoku. Not there because it's next to a 1. And not here because it would be next to a 1 wherever you put the 1. So 2 is left to be there. Now, if this blue has to have a 2 on, it has to be here. This cell can't be a 2 because it's next to 2 or 3. So there is an arrangement of 1, 3, 4, 5, which would fit here. But would it? That would have to be the 5. 1 would be... Yeah, that could be 3 or 4, and that could be 1 and 3 or 1 and 4. OK, I think that does work. So I can't rule that this is a 2 yet. Maybe, maybe it won't be. Don't know. OK, I'm going to think about 3 in this column, because it can't go next to 2 or 4. It's down in one of those cells. Therefore, 3 in the top box is in one of those two. That keeps 4 out of that cell, but doesn't really um, cut the mustard in terms of where 4 does go. Let's have a look in this row. This one can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. Can't be 5 by the rule, so it's 6, 8 or 9. This can't be 3, 2, 5, 8, or 1. Uh, I don't know. This is, this is a slightly dull way of going about this puzzle. If I had a bit more insight, there's a 9 in one of those cells. Okay, so 8 can't be in those two cells with the 9. So in this row, 8 is in one of those two, and or in that column. And in this column, column 1, it's down there. But it mustn't end up next to the 9. Not that helpful. 3, 1, 4, 7. Um, 2, 5, 6, 8, 9. Hmm, don't know. What about this? Can't be 2, 3, 8, 9. Can't be 1 or 4 by the rule. Oh, bingo! Ah, this is the perfect cell to consider. This can't be 2, 3, 8 or 9 by Sudoku. It can't be 1 or 4 because it would be next to 2 or 3. But it also can't be 5 or 6 because it would be next to 5 or 6. So that's a 7. That's a huge cell. So this becomes 5 because it mustn't be 6. That's a 6. Uh, I thought it was huge. I thought it was going to give me loads. And maybe it stops immediately. 6, 9. This mustn't be 4 or 5 by the rule. So this is 1 or 8. What about this? 3, 6, 9, 7, 2. The rule says not 4. So this is 1, 5 or 8. Um, if it was a 1, it would be quite powerful. That would push 1 to the, those cells. Yeah, I don't know. Um, 3, 7, 2. Hmm, what about these? Difficult. If there's a 9, there isn't an 8 in these two. So if that's a 9, that's a 6. Now, I haven't considered this clue at all because it hasn't really... No, it is a bit interesting. This cell can't be 7 or 8 because of that. So it's 4, 5, 6 or 9. 
because it needs a partner here, which is now nine, four, seven, or eight. Hmm, that doesn't get much done. What about this? Also can't be seven or eight, but that leaves a lot of digits it can be. I wish I knew. Uh, the trouble with this sort of puzzle as well is you could easily be shouting something at the screen because I might be just totally missing a very important digit somewhere that obviously can't be something. See, this sees two, one, seven, four, and nine. It can't be three by the rule. So five, six, or eight there. This one, eight, five, two, nine, can't be seven. Those are quite different digits. One, three, four, or six. Let's see, why was that so easy to find? Nine, eight, five, seven. This can't be two. Uh, what about this then, that's next to two or three? Now, in theory, the biggest digit that can be in these cells is a seven. But could this be one, two, three, seven? The seven would be over here. The two would be down here. The two can't be there. If it's one, two, three, seven, that's the two. This would have to be, I don't know, it could be seven and three or seven and one. Yeah, I can't rule that out. I need to think about this one maybe instead. Maybe this cell, which cannot be four or five. Ah, right. If there's a two in this group of cells, we now know it's here. And that would put one here, because there has to be a one. And then this would add up to 10 with that. Six and four, or five and five. It's interesting. If there's not a two in this group, can they be one, three, four? They would have to go four, one, three. That actually wouldn't work. They can't be one, three, four because the one would have to keep the four and three apart. That would put four here. That wouldn't force three to be here. But if these were four, one, three, that would be a five, and this would be a four, and you'd have three next to four. So these aren't one, three, four. If that's a five, they're one, two, five. With five here. Okay, this is a possibility. One there and two there. But if that's a four, then these add up to nine. They would have to be two, six, one in this order. I wonder if there's anything wrong with that. Or one, three, five, and annoyingly, is that really in any order? No, hang on, it's not. If that's a four, that's a five. Then the five has to be here. And this would be a one, three pair. So that's frustrating there are still quite a lot of possibilities there and now i have looked at every clue um, and it hasn't got me very far in some cases so i need to do something a bit cleverer that is one four five or seven two one seven four three three is not a useful number Three, seven, two, come on, think about this row maybe. If that was eight. No, I don't know what that does. Crumbs, this is this is a sticky patch in the puzzle for sure. Seven, four, one, three. This cell can't be two. Still leaves a lot of things it can be. I probably need to think a bit more holistically about central cells or something. Oh look, I've got a two there, so why have I written two as a possibility in this? Is that a misprint or are we really down to one or five? If that's a four, I think I worked out this couldn't be... No, if that's a five, this couldn't be one, three, four. It would have to be five, two, one, so that's right. If that's a four, Four, these add up to nine, they're one, two, six, in which case that is a one, or they're one, three, five, and that is one or five. Okay, so this is one or five, which feels quite limited, I have to say. If it was a one, 
the two in the column would be down here. That's possible. The one would be down here and would have to not touch the two. If it was a five, though, the four in the column would be down here. This couldn't be a four-nine pair. Things get a bit more interesting then. I can't quite see how to progress. Okay, let me... Let me let me rock back a bit and think what is going on and how am I meant to get through this now? 98572. I think this blue blue area seems to be the place to work. And I do think that it's difficult. If this is a two, then there's not a two here. Then they have to be one, three, five. That's interesting. So if this is a two, which there are either three or four possibilities of making up these numbers, and most of them involve a two. There's only one that doesn't. So that is quite likely to be a two. And in, hmm, maybe I should work out what happens if it's not a two then, because it's the only place two can go in blue. So if it's not, if there is no two in blue, they are one, three, four, five. That's a five. This can't be three or four. So that becomes a one. Ah. Things are getting interesting then. Five, one, and a three, four pair up here. Oh, seven. Oh, maybe I can place seven in these cells. Because if seven was in blue, the other digits would be one, two, three. Yeah, that won't work. That's interesting. I, I can... Play, well, I can rule out this from being a 7, because that would be a 1-3 pair, and these would end up being 5 and 6 next to each other, thanks to the pencil marking. So 7 isn't there. If 7 was there, 2 would be here and next to 1 or 3. So 7 is actually here in the box. That is slightly complicated, but it gets it done. However, that may be a very shallow victory. Because I've got these possible places for seven in box two and these in box three. And I don't think I've got any clues on what to do with them. However, no, it's not a shallow victory. This isn't eight, so we've placed eight. That's something. Um, that's not eight because it's next to nine. Eight ends up in one of those two cells. Oh, maybe just getting an eight doesn't do much there. That's frustrating. Six, though, can't be in any of those. So six is in one of these two. Aha! And six is now down here with nine down among the dead men. So we've got a two-five pair there now. And now... Were two five in one of the combos here? One, two, five, five. No, they weren't. Oh, how frustrating. Um, that doesn't prove anything about this. Oh, that's maddening. Okay, two, five, seven, eight, nine. We've got one, six, three, and four. This can't be three or six. So that's one or four. That's getting a bit more interesting. I'm trying to get this going now. Oh, that can't be five or seven. It's next to six. That's huge. That's a one, four pair. Right. We can't have a one there or a four. That can't be three because it would next be next to two or three. This is six. It's got to have eight next to it. Six, eight, one, four, nine, two, five, three, and seven to go. Hmm. So if that was a 5, that would be 2 and 3 separated by a 7. If that's a 2, a bit less clear. 3, 5 and 7 are all odd. Well, 3 would have to be there. Okay, we're getting closer now. I feel this is either a 1, 3 or a 2, 4 pair. 7, 2, 5, 8, 9, 6 is in one of those. Oh, goodness, it's not over. It's not over. 
It's not over till the fat lady sings. She hasn't begun. Seven is in one of those two cells, definitely. Seven is in one of those two. Oh, it's not next to six, of course. So we get a seven here. Then seven's in one of these. Seven, two, eight, six. Have we... No, I haven't actually sorted that. Five is now in one of those two. Aha! That's looking at that cell, which is a two. And we get a five in blue. These others add up to eight without using a five there. One, three, four. This can't be the one because then three and four would be next to each other. So it's three or four. Six goes up here, not here. Now I think we're on the trail. This is one, three. Well, that can't be four anymore. That's a one. That's now a three. That's a four. That's a three. Box one and two. No, box one and four are fully done. And this whole, whole thing might collapse a bit now. Two and three have to be separated by a seven. Um, let's get rid of the pencil marking. Ooh, this can't be three. Four, eight, three, seven, two, six, five. This must be nine. This is five and six separated by a one in the middle. Uh, those are quite big. At their minimum, five, nine, ten, twelve. I don't... No, actually, I don't know. Okay, fair enough. I thought I would. One, five, three up here. Um, next to the two can't be one or three, so they're all done. Four, eight, nine. Four has to chaperone eight and nine. <coughs> two, eight, five down here. This can't be two. It's five or eight. That means five and eight can't be on this 13 sum on this bottom clock, which is showing, what's it showing? About seven minutes to three. Um, oh, there's probably more done here. Come on, just find it. Let's look down here. One, four, seven at the bottom. So that's a four with a one, seven pair below. That can't be eight. We've got three, nine, six. I'm looking for another chaperoned pair. This is five and eight. This is one and four. I'd say the roping is now happening, isn't it? Seven, four, one, and so on. It's happening, it's happening in the columns where it didn't happen in the rows before. This is an eight, because that's a seven, one, four. Yeah, okay, that's obviously an eight. Two and five below it. Now, this row, that's a five. This can't be four or six. It's a nine, that's a six, that's a one. Excellent. Um, that total of 13 means we've done all the clues. Let's get, I mean, let's just finish off the coloring because I can demonstrate that I've done all the... Oh, no, I haven't done this one, actually. So there. Uh, anyway, we've done that one. Three, seven, six to place down here. Next to four, we can't have three. Um, it's over this side. So one of these two is a three, and that makes this a two. Three can't be next to four. Then we get five and six. Now I hope this clue is done. Two fives on it. Yeah, and the rest makes 13. Um, this is a seven in the corner. That's a six, three pair. Seven can't be next to eight, so it's next to two. I'm sure we can do these whole rows just by Sudoku now. Eight, five, two, five. Not just by Sudoku, actually. Probably we will need, yeah, deadly pattern, but obviously we can use the rule, for instance, in those cells to sort it out. I expect there were other places where we could have done it. And one, two, we're finishing off now. One, two, eight, seven. Very nice puzzle, Ivin. Excellent work. There we go. And that is the solution. Another half hour puzzle. That was a very interesting start. I got a bit sticky and stuck in the middle, but uh, I suppose that's me not kind of appreciating all of the ramifications of the rule. It, it, it's a difficult rule to apply in non-consecutive. And uh, yeah, there may well have been points in the cell where there was one cell that was completely obvious if I'd bothered to find it and look at it and study it. But there we go, that sometimes happens. And I think in the end, actually, if I'd colored these orange cells blue, I'm just 
just going to try that. Do we sort of get Norwegian flag representations for the author? Maybe. <laughs> That's quite nice, especially... Or is that the Icelandic flag now? I never quite know which is which off the top of my head. No, I think that might be Norwegian. Anyway, thank you very much for watching as always and uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.